hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, you would not believe what I found. You might say, yeah, you found an imitation leather Bible by Harper and Rowe, which is unusual enough. Now, people don't realize Harper and Rowe used to publish like some amazing Moroccan leather. Like I've got a burgundy. I think I did a review on it a couple years ago. Moroccan leather King James Bibles. But look when you open it up. It is what Holman, back in the 80s, and maybe into the 90s and maybe into the 70s, but I know for sure the 80s, used as their preaching Bible in that Moroccan leather that they did. It's an unbelievable Moroccan leather. This is an incredible size Bible. It's the only Bible that I know of that rivals my Cambridge large print. It is just a total text only Bible in large print. Now let's do a quick comparison with this with our Cambridge large print. We'll let you see you know which is uh, wider. Now even though this is imitation leather it does look like it's Smith's own if I'm looking at it right. We'll lay it down like this. They're almost identical in size. My Cambridge has a little bigger yap and that's the only difference in size. But then we're going to take a look inside and both are, yeah, this does have some maps, but it's basically text only. It's gold. I, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I was totally and utterly stunned. Because I'll look on eBay every so often for one of these in Moroccan. I like to get them and give them away. Used ones. Who knows, I may give this one away. I may keep it as a sample though. As an exemplar as they call it. And so, I don't think either one is red letter. Let me double check on that. Yeah, it's not red letter. But like it is bigger print than my Cambridge large print. It has bigger margins than my Cambridge large print. Uh, it's not a PCE. One time, because I was going to start using it to preach out of, and I was kind of like in the PCE. And uh, so I went through like, what is it, 17 scriptures to check for PCE, and I forget. A few of them weren't PCE. Which, those of you that don't know what PCE is, is pure Cambridge edition. I know it may not matter to some. It matters a little bit to me, even though there's some debate on 1 John 5 and 8 with me. Um, so, but for the other ones, I think it's good. Um, it's unbelievable. Just the, the spacing, the ghosting, the lining, the print size, the readability. I mean, the, the text just leaps off the page. We'll turn to Daniel. Let you take a look at this. So I got this for $24.95, free shipping. It, it, no markings in it at all. As a matter of fact, let me just show you what it looks like open like this. I mean, you can just tell it's just in perfect condition. I probably need to break it in. I haven't broken in yet. But this is amazing. So this is known just for your future reference. So if you want this and you can find them. Now it says 90, 1966. It does the presented two pages filled out. But nothing. And what an elegant, elegant um, presentation page here. This is the Imperial Pica type pronouncing. The Imperial Pica type pronouncing. So, uh, and boy, it just jumps right into it. And it is self pronouncing, it has the paragraph. What are they called? Pill crows. It has the pill crows. Let me just show you this so you can get that. So I didn't know. I, I thought that was like a proprietary text to Holman. I wish somebody would reprint those things in Moroccan. Maybe like local church or church Bible publishers. Because could you imagine with their leathers? Oh my. They would be amazing. So the uh, Harper Row Imperial Pica large print 
but in perfect carry size. Per, it's what eight and a half by no, it's eight and three quarters by five and three quarters by one point six. Just great. God bless. I love you. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.